Hello everybody, it's Thursday, Throwback Thursday, yes, and look at Huggy Bear's shirt, it says spoiled, yeah, she is spoiled. She is still trying to get rested up from our trip, yeah, she's still trying, poor little baby, she does not sleep at all, whenever I'm out racing, she's looking for me. So she hangs with her dad, but she does not sleep. So once we get home, boy, she sleeps like crazy for days. So um, let's see what everybody's doing and working on today. What are you ladies working on? I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has sent in Walker bags. Um, we have got quite a collection going at the store. So I want to say thank you for doing that. Um, thank you, Jessica. I'm glad you could get on to that today. I'm telling you guys, if you missed the dime event that just finished a couple minutes ago, you missed an excellent event. Um, but, but you are fortunate enough. Oh, Maria on her way to Pensacola from Tal up in Tallahassee. Well, you have a wonderful time. Pensacola is a beautiful area. Um, you guys missed a great event, but there's still time. Um, it will be up until Sunday night because it's Thursday, so 48 hours runs us into the weekend. You guys are lucky you get it a little bit longer. So go on and, um, and watch it. If you're going to be sewing with us tomorrow, I think I'm going to do a replay while we're sewing. But I want to tell you, um, I've got some of the specials that they've got because they've got special things. Well, what if you don't have an embroidery machine? What if you don't quilt with an embroidery machine? They still have stuff on special. Um, <clears throat> even let's see what kind of things. Hmm, thread. Who doesn't love thread? Well, there's some beautiful thread kits that are on special. Um, let's see, color play. There's even a thread stand with an assortment of their colors. Do you know you can use 40 weight threads for your sewing and your quilting? Yeah. Even if you're not doing embroidery? Yeah. Who doesn't love a metallic thread? The look of metallic. Now, maybe you don't like the way it shreds and you know, breaks and that kind of stuff. Well, you can't beat king star metallic jessica yes you would love that quilt holder you should get it and i'll tell you if you were on to the the class take advantage of the promotions that they have we get credit for the sales and they're giving you free shipping um you know if i were to get it i'd have to order it in and pay for shipping in and even if i shipped it out to you they're offering you the specials and promotions so uh, yes, the quilt holder. I have one. I have quilted a king size quilt on my machine and it takes a lot to hold it. This keeps it up all out of the way for you. And it can be used for you know any of you that are sewing. You're not an embroidery person. It's okay. That quilt frame folds up not much bigger than the size of an umbrella whenever it's folded down. That's about the size of the box. The box is about this big around and maybe, you know, this long. The pieces come apart. You put them together. You can stick it up next to the wall. You can hide it under the bed. I actually took mine and they're all tubes, um, a little frame and tubes, and I made a little holder. It'll stand up, you know, under the bed, in the corner, behind the door. We see where is mine I think it's stuck over back there in the corner um, it takes the weight off when you're doing quilting if you're doing ruler work or free motion quilting or binding or you're making some of the other things they said it would be good for is sewing your curtain you're making curtains or draperies anything that you need to hold just like extra hands it is so worth it and takes up very little space so I would definitely go on and take a look at that the threads um, like I said those are things that you can um, 
take a look at even if you're not an embroidery quilter you're just uh, you're not just you're a straight quilter you can take a look at all of those things hello Colleen extra hands yes is always needed I'm telling you always need extra hands uh, they're magnetic hoops so if you are an embroidery you've got a multi needle or a standard um, flat med flat bed machine their embroidery hoops are on special the magnetic ones a great time to take advantage of it again we get credit so I encourage you to use flip-flops as the free code and be able to go on I sent an email out to everybody this morning with the link you do get a free design um, like to order the 4x4 monster hoop and another metallic thread. Jamie, if you want to, girl, you go ahead and order it. Um, you can order it directly from them. They will ship it for free to you. I don't list the monster hoop for a... Uh, I don't know if I have a 4x4 at the store. But again, don't, you know, don't be... You can call the store and ask them. Um, if not, just go ahead and order it from Dime. Like I said, we get credit. If you're a sewer, you're not an embroidery person. Well, guess what? They have a great deal on a box of needles. Yes, I think there's a hundred pack. Yeah, instead of $49.99, it's $35.99. Who doesn't need needles? So those are all things. And of course, all those sales helps us as well. And we appreciate your support. And are glad that we can bring these kind of events and you know another one of our little birthday events this month right girl yeah okay let me see I know oh I hate to show you my messy room but we what I've been working on while we were doing the class this morning is putting together your next dealer digital exclusive kits for July. Always trying to get a little bit ahead, aren't we, Huggy Bear? These are Julys. You're going to get four projects this next month. You know, I had somebody um, email, and you know, you can qu quit your subscriptions anytime you want. If you're not happy with it, you can. Um, but uh, somebody that uh, sent in and said, please take me. I don't want the subscription anymore. I don't feel like I'm getting my value. Okay. That was kind of a shocker, but um, I don't know what else to say, but okay, we canceled your subscription, no problem. If you cancel, we do not have the skip feature. You can't cancel and come back. When you're done, you're done. Uh, but if you're not happy with it, no, I'm not going to make you stay in and be a subscriber. I mean, $29 a month, I think that's what it is, and you get your kit and your class and everything, and you don't feel like it's a good value. Okay, I understand. Um, now I just want to show you here, I cut the ribbons for in this month, yeah, for the next month. This is not all of them because I've got some of them already uh, made. Um, thank you, Colleen. You know, you guys that I make happy are the ones that I do this for. And anybody that's not happy, okay, I certainly can't please everyone. But here on my chair, let me see if I can show you a little bit there. I don't care if you see how messy things are because I'm in the middle of a work zone. Here's all of the fat quarters cut for the, um, the bags. Then if we flip it up and let's see if I go to camera number one two three I think it's three back here oh yeah there's the bags oh goodness we've got bags we've got zippers if we push this up oh I guess I can't no I can't do that Mike's got it tightened down um, then over here let me just go back. So we got bags, we got zippers. Look here, I got. I mean, when I placed an order for zippers, I said I need nine. I need 180 zippers. I need 90 turquoise and 90 orange to go in all the kits. So I ordered all of that stuff. Then if we go over here, look at that messy, messy table. All the stuff setting over there. All of the yeah, I cut all that stuff last night. Here's all of your um, 
glitter sheets, the leather, the little itty bit pieces for the, ba the uh, bags. Now, when you get them this next month, that's one piece of ribbon. You will have to cut it in half, okay? You're gonna have to cut it in half. Um, the ribbon, the big pieces of red, it's for two projects. You are gonna have to cut it in half. I've gotta ask you to do a little bit of work, just a little bit. But, um, I go to the store and people look for fabric and stuff and they wonder, oh, where did it go? It's in, <laughs> I bring it home, I'll bring it to the studio. So here's what, here's your bags. They may not be fancy or pretty, but I bet you everything's in there. Um, it does take time. You can ask Mike. <laughs> he comes in, slides my food under the door in the evening. I think I worked till eight last night. I got everything cut. I just didn't get them put together. So while we were doing our class today, um, yeah, I know, Colleen, you are just going to have to cut that red in half and you're just gonna have to cut those that little doggy in half but here's all you know here's all of your your fabric i even cut made labels so i am trying really really hard to get ahead i want to, oh my gosh i did want to show you and i'm gonna have some other fun stuff oh my gosh there's some really cool stuff coming some things i can't tell you about yet some things i can I want to show you this one because I did make the doggy bone. Let me uh, look at this. Now, when I give you the fabric, you can switch things up a little bit if you want to. This one has the little dots inside, um, but the little piece of, of ribbon. Now, this is one, I mean, you can use it for whatever you want, but what, this is one of them that we're going to make. Um, you put the little doggy, I don't have any setting in here, but you put the little doggy um, bags. If you walk your dog, you can put them in there and then you can just pull them out this end. Now this is, this is bigger than Huggy Bear. I'm sorry, it's a little big for her, but it is just super cute. So you're going to have that and then I've got the orange in there and zippers, you know, as close as I could get in colors. The orange um, to ma make up for the fish and then the black and so this we're gonna have all of the stuff in there for you to make these because we're gonna do all of them um, the bag of coal oops, that's gonna be stitched out on the um, what is it that's stitched out on the white glitter and then the Santa Santa mail so let me see something else new and coming where's my other paper sometimes i get a little bit um scattered oh okay so for those of you out there the cowboy christmas let's see colleen and Teresa and sharon and Jean. yeah i did write your names down it is on the calendar yes christmas already because christmas in july and august this year we're going to be working on them. Um, Christmas in July, we've got Sugar Plum uh, coming up. I showed pictures of it yesterday. And Sugar Plum, you, um, I have a couple slots left, a couple spots. I cut off at 10. I know I've done it several times, but I know there's some of you that haven't. Or if you've got a friend, um, we're, we're doing that. And then um, Kimberbell's Harvest Table. Now let me tell you a little thing about that. This is this is the one day. Yep, it's still in the bag. Um, there will be available for people that attend a limited supply of the napkins and the table runners if you um, are wanting to purchase extra. That's not something Kimberbell's going to have forever and ever. Uh, I think they're they're struggling a little bit with supplies and and those kind of things. Um, White Winter, we're doing that one in um, July as well. Cup of Cheer, um, let's see. Cup of Cheer, that's this one, okay. There's a delay in the embellishments, okay. So we're just moving it to, um, instead of being able to do it in July, because I think it's delayed till July, 
They were supposed to have everything the end of June. They've um, struggled with getting some of those things. So we're just going to bump it off to um, be doing that in August. So that's why we're saying Christmas in July and August this year. But we will be working together with you to help you get your projects up and running and done by the time that the holidays um, get here so you can enjoy them. Merry Christmas, y'all. I'm going to show this one to you. This is, um, let's see, Kim, when she um, did her presentation the other day, this was one of her original designs. She brought it back as an embroidery design. You will need a 6x10 hoop. It is um, our standard 18x18 18 18 pillow. We are putting together fabric kits with the embellishments. So you can see there's lots of little embellishments. There's things in there like blue, applique, um, the applique glitter. There's blue, there's green, there's red, there's um, the velveteen. There is um, black glitter, there's light gold, there's black leather and gold leather and embroidery felt. Um, all of those and maybe a couple extra little things in there. So I have put 20 of the fabric kits in class. We're doing it on Friday, August the 5th, because they're releasing the design the end of July, no, August 3rd. <clears throat> so um, you don't want to wait until then. That's another one of the pillows like we did Lucky Us and the Sweet Land of Liberty. We will do a sew um, that day. You'll get your, you have to buy your embroidery design and your um, background quilting if you want that you get it directly from Kimberbell we ask that you go through our site so when you go to register for it guess what I put the site in there it's not available yet but yes I know Colleen there will be 20 lucky limited people that will be able to purchase the kit and do the class with us or do it on your own we will record it because I know you know, I know you guys work and you can't always be there doing the, the class. Um, Teresa, the steampunk, as soon as I know when the fabric's getting here, okay? I hesitate putting things on the calendar when I'm those kind of things because I'm not sure when it's going to show up in the door and, you know, we have um, supply chain issues where things get delayed and if I schedule it. So um, I will let everybody know any of the names that I have on my list, which I think, let's see, this is a list for something. I have lists all over the place. But I'll let, um, I will let you know as soon as it, um, as soon as it, I know it's coming. So we will keep you busy with all things. Guys, if you like the uh, Emily Scott um, designs, you know, we're doing several classes with the Edge to Edge and um, other things. Go on to today's class, okay, the dime event, because let me tell you, um, some of the other special promotions, and I'm just kind of telling you what they are, but you, you know, you have access to them and they're on sale. There is um, an edge to edge favorites. There is a special um, that has, she's got one, one, two, three different packages from Amelia Scott that will um, and include expansion packs or include the embroidery designs, the standard designs, and patterns. So there's three different packages that um, she has with Dime, because she works with Dime too. Three different packages. And you know we have um, classes that we're doing, the Amelia Scott classes that are coming Oh, let's grab those. Okay, these are on the calendar. This is three weeks in July, the Edge to Edge um, Academy, teaching you the Edge to Edge and the process. This one, um, or any of the ones we have done so far, you need to have taken one either on your own or with us before you can pop into the Edge to Edge Pro. This one I don't have on the calendar yet. I think it might be September, just because to give everybody a chance to do one of the other ones. Um, 
do you know if you can use the patterns on the handy quilter? Um, Teresa, I need a little bit, a little bit more, bit more of the question. Handy quilter, does it have a computer? Do you have the designs? Um, I think we might need to talk about that. Uh, Linda, I'm frozen on your screen. I'm not frozen on mine. If, unless I'm frozen on somebody else, it might be yours. But it could be me. Who, who knows? And now Mike's texting to see how I'm doing. <laughs> oh, golly, ladies. I love it. I love it. Uh, but yeah, this one, this class is going to be advanced, so you need to have done one or the other. Either the all over that was uh, we did with the table table placemats, or the first trio class, or this trio class, or the one that we just did in the edged edge, because you've got to get that concept down. Um, the basics, this is going to be more involved, which is really cool because it does use the Dime Toolshed software, which is free. That one is free. And uh, we are going to have, pro there are projects, so, um, but with the designs, you're going to be able to do some resizing. You're going to be able to do custom, edge to edge, so uh, quite a few things. Um, can I use that with Pro Stitcher? Um, um, let me think. Let me, you know, Teresa, that is a great question that um, I may need to ask. The quilting program today, that is, as, as long as it can be saved, the design can be saved, it's actually a layout program. Um, but that, that's a good question. Let me get an answer for you. It can be used with the Pro Stitcher, because I have Pro Stitcher too. Um, I know the new software that um, R&K has embellish the quilter select, yes, because it saves in all format, and I'm excited about that. That's more of a design. The program today, I believe, is more of a layout, helping you to lay it out. But of course, you'd want to make sure that those designs could be used. So that's, uh, to answer that question properly, I need to get, um, more expertise on it, but I'll find out for you. That is that is a good um, a good question. Okay, what other questions do we have today? You know, I hope to see a lot of you tomorrow, and believe me, you really want to show up. You don't have to be there all day. It's going to be from two to seven. I will have Zoom opened up, and uh, we're going to be working on um, the walker bags, maybe even a little demo on how to do it on a serger, if you've got a serger, because they could go together really fast. And um, there, there might be some other things, some other things and surprises. Remember, this is our birthday month. We're not done yet. Um, if you can't be there, you know, I, I totally, I understand. Um, if you have done a walker bag, um, yeah, just to, and show up. It's from 2 to 7. So I'm trying to do it in a way that I get the afternoon if you have to work. Like I said, you don't have to be there the whole time. Um, but I will have it opened up and maybe we'll have some, um, have some fun. I might be putting kits together because I've got tons of kits to do. Um, but it's just a, a time that you can sew together. You can ask questions. I'll be around to answer any and all questions on probably any topic. I'll be happy to answer those. Uh, the best size magnetic hoop you should start with, most versatile. Um, Cheryl, this is the, the question. Yeah, you work till six. So yeah, absolutely. And you know, if it needs to, if people stay longer than seven, I'm not gonna throw you out. But if nobody's there, I'm not gonna sit here and just look at the screen myself. Um, Cheryl, uh, two questions. What are you going to do most? Um, magnetic hoop, I would go top of the range to the bottom. If you're going to be doing, if you quilting, then you get the biggest magnetic hoop your machine will hold, which in your case, you have a Lumineer or Solaris, I believe. Uh, would be the 10 and 5 eighths by 16. That gives you the biggest area to be able to quilt and maneuver around in. Um, any of you that have uh, 
like Destiny Dream Machines, that would be the nine and a half by 14, I believe. Um, oh, you'd like to try edge to edge? Trying, you're going to get hooked on it, believe me. You can just do so much um, that it, you want the biggest area. It makes it easier for you to be able to um, you know, move your quilt sandwich. If you're using and doing embroidery, so quilting, you want the biggest hoop you have because it gives you the biggest space to be able to quilt. For embroidery, if you're doing, um, you know, magnetic for the hard to hoop things, then you want the size that of most of the designs you're going to be using. But for edge to edge quilting, I would recommend the largest because that gives you the biggest space and you can, um, even if your design's a little bit smaller, you can stitch multiple designs in that hoop size without having to move the fabric. So I use my 10 and 5 8 by 16. It's the biggest I can use in the Solaris and, and Lumineer. Yep, I have one of both. I'm very, very fortunate to have those, and that way I can answer all of your questions. Um, but that's, that would be the size for your, your quilting. When you're doing embroidery, you want a hoop that's closest to the size of your project. Okay, so if I'm doing um, embroidery on a jacket or something like that that I can't hoop or a baby onesie, then I'm going to go with a 4x4 or 5x7. I don't necessarily... Um, Oh, Mike's asking me, did I do a Zoom for the Walker bag? No, that's your job, buddy. I'll get with him so we can send your link out um, for everybody for that. Um, yeah, so for your other stuff, then whatever size you're going to use most. I am fortunate to have multiple sizes, um, but even just as a consumer, I would have the biggest and then have something else. Um, for the Amelia Scott Edge, do we need the quilt software? No, not for, for the dime, um, the free dime download. Um, no, you don't need it. I would recommend anyone who is going to do or is thinking about or interested in doing the um, this class, I would recommend that you go ahead and download Dime's Toolshed software. Even if you have other software programs, um, she's got it so it does work with it. I will be teaching using that software, and it is, it is free. If you don't have any software, I would recommend it because it's free. There are, it lets you do things like resizing and changing colors and, you know, some different things like that. Saving a file. What if you had XYZ machine? and you bought a new one and the new one takes ABC format or you know you bought you had a Viking and you changed it to uh, one that takes a PES format well all of your designs from your old format can be brought into that software and you can resave it as the um, the format for your new machine okay so if you've got files from, you know, and you've changed brand, you used to have one that did V, whatever it is, starts with a V, and now it's the PES, you can change it. You can change it back the other way. So it lets you do that. Um, I have the free dime for the Amelia Scott Edge to Edge. Do we need quilt software? No, you don't. You don't need it. You know, we can talk about it more and I can show you in demo. It depends on, you know, what you want to be able to do. There's so many software programs. Um, and most of us, if, you know, if you're going to use them, you probably have more than one. Because it's like tools or anything else. It's what you want to be able to do and accomplish. And, you know, things to make your, your hobby, to make it more fun. You know to have more toys and tools I'm a gadget person you guys all know that I love the gadgets the software the hoops the all of those things and I use them and if I sell them to you I will make sure that you know how to use them And if you have questions we are going to be here we are really really focusing all of our um, energies on education 
on teaching and educating because we know you can buy stuff at a lots of different places but then you get it and you don't know how to use it we want to make sure that that you do nothing worse than buying something in a box and leaving it in the box and three years later it's out of date and then you have to buy something else in a box so that's we're really really focusing and going in the, um, the the area of education so oh goodness I have rambled on I think there's not a lot of other classes going on um, this month but you know we are going to we're doing our charity show tomorrow and then we'll see um, you said my punny Valentine do you have the tin that comes with that event um, Jamie no, my punny Valentine is out of stock, not, not retiring that I know of. I have put it on the calendar for October. I have nine kits. They are bagged. The tins were damaged. They had dents and dings and stuff in them, and um, so I asked them for bags. We are rebagging them. Um, if there's a tin and you're not particular if it's got a little tiny ding or a dent in it you can come talk to me about that but we're not shipping anymore it was a disaster they just did not they're not well made and even packed the best that they were packed they got little dents and dings and and people were unhappy with them so i think that's why they're they're um out you know out of stock but i do have nine uh, nine kits we are doing a class so I put that back on the calendar with those and I had let me think here what else did I do I put oh tis the season tis the season is another one that one is retired is gone is history but see I start cleaning out and moving things around I found eight kits so it is on the calendar for August the 16th and I have told Kimberbell that and they have put it on their calendar so if there is anyone that has not done um, tis the season or is interested in it um, um, Jamie you can just go on and, and sign up when you have time um, or call the call the shop they can help you with it at the shop but tis the season, that is an all day. I'm doing it on August the 16th, that is a Tuesday. So if, um, and I know there's lots of you that are new with Kimberbell and you're just getting excited. Well, I did find a couple of them and I think I have one more of the, um, the fall. I don't know where my paper's at, but whatever it was, I said, oh, there it is, there it is. When I start doing kits, everything gets all, um, bummed up. Um, pumpkin spice. I have one of the pumpkin spice. That was a really cute one with the little wall hanging. Um, and I, if I've got the video from when I did the class, you know, we'll give you the download so that you can, um, you can do that. Um, let's see. And I have one red, white, and barbecue with the, um, the barbecue mitts. I have one of those available. Okay. So, with that being said, I am going to go back to making kits. Tomorrow is Friday. I will see you guys on time at 1 o'clock. Maybe we'll get some kind of a demo or something so I'm not always just rambling on. If there's specific things that you would like to see or know about, let me know. Um, I'm always looking for topics and things that I can show you. If you have um, Embellish Maker software with R and K, if you have that software, or even if you don't, and you know, we love R&K too. R&K um, only deals with dealers you can't buy directly from them, and I love that. Uh, there's no competition. Uh, some of the others do have it, but I have certain, you know, Kimberbell. We love Kimberbell. We love Dime. So I work with, with all of them, and I know some of you buy different programs and, and that kind of thing. Embellish Maker Software every other Wednesday so last night and you can still see it on their blog cookie does a phenomenal job and she gives you a project it was a USA uh, with stars mug rug so sometimes you know they're little projects she's been working on bags I would highly recommend I get on there I get on and follow her she's a sweetheart 
so smart and knowledgeable about software that I can get on and learn something as well. So they've got um, some education. Dime has some different things that they've got going on with Ashley. Um, Ashley is excellent again with you know with Dime things and uh, there's Dime has a free design that they give out I think once a month. Um, I just I can't do everything but you know you can support those guys as well. So I don't see any other comments so guys go make it a great day. Any questions you have I'll be here uh, tomorrow you can pop on and, um, and ask but please sign up and join us. Uh, make a walker bag for a vet or your favorite person. It can be male, female, whatever, that's maybe in a nursing home or using a walker. You don't have to send all of them to us. If you do, that's great. If not, you know, post a picture and I'll tell you, if you're shipping them to us, what we have done is when you send it, you know, the postage is marked on the box, Mike's given you a coupon for that amount. Because I don't want you to, I know that you're, you know, using your supplies and things, which we all do. But if you're sending them to us, um, we're giving you a coupon that you can use and get that back and be able to buy something for yourself. Because we all need more supplies, right? So, make it a great day. Go sew something. And I will see you, if I can get my mouse over here where it goes. Okay, I'm going to get back to packing kits and I'll see you tomorrow.